Good morning everyone and welcome to Suburban Stone Age. It's getting to be summer. Well, it actually already is. And with all this extra light, uh, we like to get up on our solar panels and make sure they're nice and clean. So I was checking them out the other day and I noticed to my delight that we have moss growing on our roof. I was so excited. This is the first time moss has actually grown here naturally. We didn't plant it. It just showed up. And it's growing on the roof in the drip line of our solar panels. So this is the north side of the house where it's nice or shadier. These are the solar panels and they collect condensation during the night and then it runs downhill, collects on the edge, drips off, and then it feeds the moss. And I've been actually trying to grow moss in different places in my garden and have had no success. So I was very excited to see this. So naturally, being curious about moss, I decided I'm gonna Google it and find out what species it is and, and how it grows and what it likes. I just thought it was so enchanting. And it turns out that the only results I got were like pages and pages and pages of <laughs> how to kill roof moss <laughs> and how bad it is for your roof and how it can cause damage and oh <laughs> I didn't know quite what to make of that I was kind of bummed out actually so I'm gonna observe it for a little while and just see what it's doing uh, but I think at the end of the day I'm gonna start an experiment where I'm going to collect it and uh, if it's causing damage to the roof then we maybe don't want to have it right here but instead of killing it or, or you know, using soap or a uh, power washer on it, uh, we will collect it and I'll see if I can try to grow it as a pet in like a little indoor, uh, you know, like miniature garden. So that way it can still thrive and be happy because good for it for finding a place to grow in this harsh environment, this roof is so hot in the summer. I don't even know how this moss lives. Um, I'm so impressed, but it's here. So instead of, you know, killing it off, let's, uh, let's roll with it and see if we can do something fun with it and learn more about this super interesting little moss plant here. So here's a close up still attached to the roof and what I noticed is that right away there's condensation on the moss. It's really foggy this morning and in June in Southern California that's common. We get, it's called June gloom and it's a prelude to summer before things really start to warm up but we do get the, the coastal fog. So I thought that that was just a neat little adaptation. Maybe that's how the, the moss can get established or get a little bit of extra moisture out of the atmosphere. Um, in any case, interesting to observe. I love that stuff. All right, moss buddy. Let's move on to see uh, how we can have the best of both worlds. Okay, so I've peeled up a tiny sample of moss and I'm looking at the state of the roof underneath and I'm not, I'm not freaked out. I mean, it totally did not tear up any roofing material along with it when it came. I think that it's actually just growing like a film on top of the, the asphalt. And in our climate, it's not such a big deal freezing and thawing as it might be in other climates. So I can't speak to that. But in our climate, it, it's moisture freezing underneath the the shingles and popping them up isn't a thing at all because it, it maybe will get a frost a couple times a year. So that it seems like it's pretty well behaved. Um, here's the little sample I took. The underside of it. It seems to be like collecting its own detritus that may be washed off in dust in the uh, from the solar panels that was collected by the wind. Now let me see if I can flip it over and let's take a look at what it looks like. There we go. 
So there's the little sample from the top side. So I'm going to bring, uh, bring our little buddy inside and play with it and see what we can learn. So here we are with our friendly little roof moss under the microscope. I think it's so interesting to see what these guys look like up close. And maybe someone out there can help me identify what species it is. Mosses are new to me and I don't know very much about them. But I always like to see how these guys are built and how they adapt and survive in their particular climate. Because these guys don't have roots like normal other plants do. Um, they need to collect their moisture from the atmosphere or from water running through them. So I get it that they would live on the drip line of the solar panels and on the shadier side of the house which would probably have more moisture overall than the sunnier warmer side. But with the recent drought in Southern California, I find it amazing that they're growing at all here. And I'm so happy to see them. That's, that's why I got all excited is because anything that's moisture related that grows here all by itself without any help from me, it, it has my respect for sure. So that's the moss close up. Next, we're going to look at the flip side. So this is the back side of the moss, and this is the little curled over edge that we're looking at so that we can see some of the longer parts of the moss. And then this is the substrate here on its underside. And I don't know what's comprising that. It looks like, uh, from far away, it looks like dirt and mud. That looks like the little thingies that attach the moss. They're not roots, but I forget what they're called. Hope there's a moss person out there who can help me identify them. Um, but yeah, it just looks like dirt and debris, maybe windblown, that's collected underneath the moss, so it, it sort of like builds its own substrate. But I'll tell you what I don't see, and I don't see any pieces of the roof that came up with this moss. So. I have an asphalt shingle roof and it's covered with granules of, I think of limestone and other stuff. Um, and, and, and I pulled this guy up and, and it didn't take any of the roof with it. So that's good. So there we go. That is the underside of the moss. And let's see if we can make something interesting out of this and turn it into a pet. So there we have it. There's Fred the moss back on the roof. There's the solar panels. Put it on the drip line. We're gonna give it some time and let him get established and fill in. Thanks for watching guys. If you want to see what happens with Fred the moss, stay tuned and uh, we'll explore more life on the roof in later videos. Thanks again. Subscribe if you want to get notifications when we get videos. And share this video if you uh, know of someone who might want to adopt a rescue roof moss. <laughs> Thanks. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.